So Astrid, we're a couple months on from the fight that was supposed to happen in July. How are you, firstly, how are you feeling? I'm good, I'm feeling confident, you know, obviously it was a little bit frustrating when that happened, but I've been working really hard in camp, I've been sparring some really cool people, and yeah, I couldn't be more prepared for this fight, I'm really excited, and yeah, Alexi's going to get smashed on Saturday, basically. For those who obviously don't know the backstory, it's supposed to happen in July, you had an injury when it all sort of kicked off fight day. For, the, for those who don't know, what was the injury that you had? Uh, so it all basically went tits up, to be honest with you. Um, Alexia somehow picked me up and threw me to through a table, which the table wasn't the thing that actually hurt me. It was hitting my head after I went through the table. Um, and I actually ended up with a mild concussion. Um, so the paramedics came over and said, she's not fit to fight, so we couldn't fight that day. Um, which was really frustrating and embarrassing, but you know what? We're here now, um, and I'm going to get my revenge on Saturday, so I'm pretty happy. Talk to me about the moments after you had that concussion. Were you sort of like, you know, how soon did you return to training? Again, we're three months on now, you're fine to find out. But what was that sort of days and weeks like after? Honestly, I like didn't leave my house for like four or five days. Um, I wasn't, I was just a little bit embarrassed because not only was it, you know, the fight didn't happen, but it was passed all over social media. Um, so I didn't really do anything for four or five days. Um, and with concussion, you're supposed to ease yourself back into sports quite slowly. Obviously, there's nothing easy about boxing so yeah i had to wait a week or so before i went back training and even then it was quite light but yeah since then i've been training really hard and i'm, I'm well prepared for this fight as i said it's been three months on from the first wet promotions event that almost you know happened but yeah. um are we going to see you maybe a return for a wet promotion or not potentially i think it would be easier if i did the promotions and not fight on it i feel like i was trying to do too much while whilst like running the production and also fighting on it um so yeah maybe next time if i do it it will be for other people fighting not myself but we'll see for now it's just misfits i remember that week alexia said she wanted to fight and beat you then rematch on misfits for the belt and she almost got her wish without actually fighting you right yeah yeah i know because she stole the belt anyway um so yeah hopefully i'll be getting that back this week so we'll see was it quite exciting that week being like i know you're running around the scenes setting all this sort of stuff up and doing it but was it sort of stressful at the same time given you're trying to focus on the fight i actually really enjoyed it because obviously with fight week you don't really train that much anyway so it kept me busy um i really enjoyed like the production side of it but yeah i just feel like in fight week you're supposed to chill out relax you know get your energy back up and then fight on the saturday so yeah i don't know whether it was just a little bit too much but personally i enjoyed both sides maybe just not doing them both at the same time is it nice not being a star of the show because I remember that week it was pretty crazy you know the bottles flying, the tables flying but now obviously the focus is on KSI, Tommy Logan yeah. but this is still going to be a, a great fight but it was all the focus on you, you always had to sell it with Alexia back then didn't you? Yeah, yeah like this is going to be really nice because I feel like there's not, like you said there's not as much pressure, there's not as much eyes on it um, and yeah I'm just really excited to be a part of the whole card like this is such a massive card like God knows how KSI, Tommy and Logan and Dylan are feeling. Um, I feel really chilled about this one, really relaxed and yeah I'm just really excited to get down to that NHL I can do. I remember for that fight week the numbers blew up for the press conference and the weigh-in of course. Do you expect the same thing to happen this week? Have you got anything to sort of tricks up your sleeve? I do have something planned but I'm not going to say what it is uh, but yeah just keep your eyes peeled because it's going to be pretty crazy. I'm actually, I'm actually nervous about that more than I am about the fight so yeah we'll see how it goes. Alexia was saying about in terms of her boxing skills she's felt She's got a lot better in the last few months. How would you assess your sort of improvements in the, in the three months since, since that fight? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you're going to improve if you're training and you're putting that hard work in. Like, me and my coach always say, like, you can't cheat the graft. If you're working, you're going to get better. But I just don't think nothing that she's done in the last six months, three months, two months is going to prepare her for what I'm going to bring in the ring this Saturday. You know, we've been working really hard. We've been doing really cool sparring. Um, oh, yeah, I'm just super excited. And finally, I got asked, the main event and the co-main event is, you know, two biggest fights in the card. What are your predictions for KSI, Tommy and Logan Dillon? I think Logan's going to win against Dylan Dallas. Um, I don't know. I don't really know Dylan Dallas too well, but Logan is like a born fighter. Like, look at the shape of him. So, yeah, I think it would be Dylan. KSI, Tommy Fury, I think it's going to be hard, but KSI is going to win it. You know, he's really unpredictable. He's going to give Tommy problems. I think he's got it in the bag.